Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on the Photos app, iCloud Photo Sharing. All right, now this is a fun tech bit. We're going to talk about sharing pictures through um, iCloud Photo Sharing. Right. So it happens through the Photos app on your iPad or your iPhone, and we're going to go into it. And this is the view in the middle. It's called Shared. It looks like a cloud, and so you want to pick on that. And what we've got here is we have um, shared albums that have been created that are shared with different people, and you can put photographs in them, and people can look at them, and it's all pulled off of the cloud. So that used to be called photo streams. It, they were right. shared photo streams. Now they're just called shared photo sharing, iCloud photo sharing, and it's shared albums now, right. not shared streams. We're getting away from streams. Right, because they're, they're really albums that you're sharing with other people and other devices. From the cloud. Yeah. Thus iCloud photo it's sharing. It's cool. It's yeah. very cool. It's a very, very fun thing. You can see I have a lot of them here on my iPad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create one, Okay. So again, I'm going to hit the plus button from the main thing, and it's going to come up and it's going to ask me, what's the name of this shared album? And I'm going to name it, um, I don't know, let's just name it Horses again. We'll put Horses in there. Um, so you could, you know, maybe it's a trip you've taken with people, and you want to, everybody put pictures into the trip, mm -hmm. um, uh, a shared album, or it's an event like a wedding or a party or something, and yeah. you want everybody to have access. So um, you put the title in, you hit next, and then you get to pick who gets it. Okay. okay. Um, it comes up with a list of people. I'm not really sure where this list is exactly Probably. coming from, but I'm going to pick the first one, which is my husband. And then I could just start typing another name in, just like you can anywhere else where yeah. you're adding. Here's all my Karens. I'm going to find Karen McKay right. and add her. And I could just keep going, or I could hit the plus button. It would bring up my address book. Sure. So very just, similar to mail. Very or similar to texting. Anywhere, yeah, where you're where you're doing mm -hmm. a two field. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. Right. And it created this shared album called Horses. Now I don't have any pictures in there at this point, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap on it, and then I'm gonna tap on the plus. And I'm gonna add some pictures. Now I can add pictures from different views. I'm just actually, like when you create a regular album. Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to albums and I'm just gonna go into all photos. I heard your phone. Yeah. And I'm going to we'll just pick some horse pictures and say done. And now, um, where do you want to add it? Which album and horses? Exactly. And I could put a note. I could say, you know, something about these pictures. Look at the horses running today or something. I can, mm -hmm. you know, look here, <clears throat> whatever. I can type a note. Yeah. And I can tap on the album I want. It's defaulting to the last one I created, but if I tap on the name, Oh, no, because I'm in it. I, I don't think I can change it. Oh, right, point. yeah. I started right. within it, right. Yep. And then I can post. So it's kind of like posting to Facebook or something yep. like that. And I posted those pictures, and now okay. they're up there. And let's bring the phone in now. Okay, because you invited me to join. Right. So um, I had got, um, you got a, badge I I had a banner that's gone now. But you can see by my photos app, I've got a little one, which means that I've got an, a, a notification. If I go to that... Uh, and I go to photo sharing. Then we can see up here, invitations, horses from Barbara Zade, join shared album as myself. And you can either accept or decline. So now I'm gonna accept. And then if I go back out here to my shared albums, you can see here it is, horses. Uh -huh. And there are all the pictures that but you just put yeah. there. Now bring up one of the pictures because oh. you can do different things. I think, can't you go in and you can, um, you can, can you like it? Is there a like button down there? Oh, right. Yeah. Where, where is that? Where's that like button? Right, right here. There it is. Yep. Like, I could like it. Yeah, and I can also Wait, write a, that up a oops. There we go. You I can like also it. write a comment. Go to another one. Then they can see the. What? Yeah, go to a different picture. Now you can see there's the like and or add comment. Right. So go ahead and tap on add comment. Add comment, and I could write, you know, Whatever. cute, right? Yeah. And then, and then send, send it. it. Yeah. So it is really a little bit, and then if you go back <clears throat> over here, it is very Facebooky. Right. There is there is a thing. Well, I'll show Oops. you. Oh. oh, sorry. Well, I was going to show. Well, I was going to show that there is um, an activity mode in here, just like in Facebook. Kind of like your Facebook news feed, your right. activity feed. 
And this is going to show what happened. I Recently, posted, so it's showing your right. recent activity in your shared albums. That's right. That's exactly right. So if you see that horse yep. and there's got a one, what does yep. it say? Oh, uh, look here. That's you. You that wrote that comment. comment. So your comments haven't come on over here yet. Is it there? No, nope. Because the last thing that happened in there was oh, Mr. Right. Biden. Yeah. So we'll just give that a minute because we're going to take a look at... It's going through the cloud, you know. Right, yeah. right. So let's take a look at the specifications about right. the stream right. now. Because there are ways that you can set it up. Right. So if I pick a specific one, a, a shared yeah. album, it's not a stream anymore. No, oh, right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> shared album. Sorry. Um, you'll see up here it says people. If I tap on people, then you can see who I've shared this with. And um, I've shared it with Mosin. He's invited. He has not accepted, accepted it. Yet. Oh, that's just his info. That's just his info, yeah. Um, he has not accepted it yet. You can see Karen McKay has accepted it right and then this is another area where you could tap on that invite people and right. invite more people right then you can customize it a little bit you can subscribers can post you can turn that on or off maybe you don't want people to post um, this public website is if you're going to be sharing a shared album with someone who doesn't have a Mac or you know is an Apple or has an older device this is a good way to share with right them. and it'll give you a link <clears throat> that you could email to somebody, or you can just tap share link from here, and you can share it with somebody. And then email, so come up, you message, can message it. it, you can put it on Facebook. So they would then tap on the link. Right, and it to... would just bring them right. in their browser um, up to it. Right. It's a great way to share with people who have different devices. Yep, and you can change your notifications, how you notify, just like anything else. Right. Or you could delete the album. Right. And... Um, that's really it. I yeah, mean, it's a great. It's a great. I think. Way. I think we kind of. I think the reason that you that these shared shared albums are so great is that they don't take up device space on your device. Right. If you're a big texter of pictures and um, videos to a group of friends, like you have a group text that's very common with people, right. it can really eat up space on people's devices exactly. because they're having those photos all the time and everything. Where the right. shared album, everything is in the cloud. So <clears> it's a great way to share. And also it's a great way to share a lot of pictures at once. Um, right. You know, I go on a play date with my friends and I'm, I take most of the pictures. I want to share them. Well, I can't email 50 pictures. Right. You know, right. you can't do it. So right. you create a shared album from that play date. And right. It's just a great way. That's a great reason to use them a lot. Right. That's yep. great. So? So that's our tech bit on uh, iCloud photo sharing. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.